Hi guys! It is Lee with Milk and Sugar Bath Bakery and today we are going to make black raspberry vanilla. Black raspberry vanilla tends to be a favorite in the cold process soaping community because the fragrance oil just about anywhere you buy it from plays really nice, it stays really fluid and it gives you a long time to work with the uh, with the batter and do some cool designs. So we're gonna do a tiger stripe as I always do and I love a good tiger stripe. It's, a, it's just a super cool design. So let's get started. Here in this container, I have all of my melted oils. I have olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, and castor oil. I do use a palm-free recipe. I'm gonna add in some colloidal oatmeal and kaolin clay. And then I'm also going to add in some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna give this a mix and then we'll put in the lye and mix that. And then we'll split our colors out for a tire stripe. majority of my batter is going to be white and then I'm going to have two accent colors so I'm going to do quite a bit of the first accent color and then do a little bit more the second accent color will be black. I'll add in my tiny titanium dioxide to this main portion, or the largest portion. This color, accent color, I'm going to use a combination of a pink and a purple. The last color is activated charcoal. And I don't do quite as much of that color just because it's so, it can become overpowering in a soap, so we don't need as much black. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the fragrance oil. I know that this plays nicely with the soap batter. So we'll just put it in now. The fragrance oil I'm using today is from Brambleberry. It's their black raspberry vanilla. I've used black raspberry vanilla from about three different suppliers. And personally, I, I love the black raspberry vanilla from Brambleberry the best. So I'm gonna start and blend up our colors from lightest to darkest. ready to go with our tiger stripes so I'm going to start with the white and do a thin line of white then I'm going to come in with our raspberry color this is a little thicker that's okay we'll do a thin line of that and then I'm going to go back to the white white in a smaller container just so it would be easier to pour. And we go back with our raspberry. Now I'll do white again.
and then we're going to finally do a black. So the black will be in kind of every other time. Okie dokie. So I'm going to keep going with this and we'll speed it up because it will take me a while, but it's worth it for the effect that we get at the end. I was able to get all the soap into the mold and I've been waiting for about 10 minutes for this to harden up a little bit, a little bit so that I can come in and texture the top. I'm simply taking a spoon and going about halfway down the mold and scooping up looking to create a little bit of texture and height in the middle. I'm gonna spin the mold around and do the exact same thing on the other side. This fragrance is really nice and it's one that a lot of people love. It's a duplication of Bath and Body Works Black Raspberry Vanilla, if you've ever used that and like it. And then last, I'm gonna come down the middle and just simply kind of smooth down the top in the center. I have all of these little raspberry embeds and I've created, created black, raspberries and I've created a uh, kind of a raspberry color raspberry a little lighter it matches the colors of the soap and what we have inside for the tiger stripe so I'm going to put two of the purpley colored raspberries on each side and a black one in the center. This is a mold that I purchased from Amazon and it makes beautiful detailed raspberries. I'm gonna do is come back through and spritz this with some fine iridescent biodegradable glitter. We'll spray it with some 91% rubbing alcohol and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Here it is close up you can really see the detail on those raspberries turned out really cute. I'm excited to cut inside. So this one's a, still a little bit soft. I want to go ahead and cut into it so I can get it on the curing rack and uh, let it start hardening up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and cut in. We'll see what our Ooh, look at that tiger stripe. That turned out really cool. I haven't seen one quite like that. Um, it's got those, it's got little bitty, little itty bitty white swirls in it. Right through there. It's almost kind of like a double stripe. I like that. That's really neat. This is a this is a customer favorite for me. 
So I try to keep this one in stock almost year round. And I've got some craft fairs coming up. So I will definitely have it in stock for that. Interestingly enough, this fragrance is one of my husband's favorites. And um, when we're at craft fair, he's there with me a lot. And he always tells the guys to try to smell this one when they come over with their wives. And it's so funny. This is a big favorite with the, with the guys and, and the men out there. So heads up on that one. I love the tiger stripe design. It, it's one of my favorite techniques in soap making and I just absolutely love it. If you can get a fragrance that'll work with you and give you time to do it, it's definitely worth it.